is a response to Silver Red Indigo about atheists. Um, you know, just so I've said it, when you put your views up here on YouTube, it is kind of similar to that marketplace analogy. I just figured that radio wouldn't be that much different. I'm sorry if I offended you. Uh, there are clearly differences between the two, and I respect your decisions. If you've seen my previous long, very long rambly video, I recommend playing Solitaire while listening to it, like podcast. You'll really see what I was talking about. Most atheists here on YouTube really fit more into agnostics, igtheists, which is we don't know the con what you mean by the word God well enough to say whether there is or there isn't one, and agnostics, uh, sorry, <laughs> I wish, and the anti-theists, um, at least that's how I see it. Uh, there are very few genuine real atheists, that is, people who just flat out say, nope, not possible, not possible that there is any being such such as described in other texts and or claimed to be by other religious fanatis fanatics. It goes against everything I know to be true about the universe. Well, those people are fine because they usually have a live and let live attitude. They're not particularly against religion, uh, they just don't want to be bothered by it. The ichthyists would actually probably enjoy having a good old fashioned chin wag, a bit of a debate, a um, good yak about what is your definition of God and where are the boundaries and where does it stop and end? And the anti-theists are the ones that really get up people's noses, including a large chunk of the agnostic, um, atheistic, or otherwise questioning community. And they really worry me because they're the kind of people that got over in China. China has churches. China has, um, you know, pseudo-scientific spiritual religious movements. It had Falun Gong or Falun Dufa as a massive social movement for a while. And now, and when people started really feeling empowered by it, note that word, empowered by it, that's when this crackdown came. My gosh. They say everything you can imagine on state-sponsored media about um, the Falun Dafa movement, true or not. So... Basically, when it comes down to it, I don't think a lot of atheists really want to see the end of religion per se. I think they just want it to leave them the hell alone and never threaten their kids. I think that a lot of atheists would like to discuss it as an intellectual topic, in which case they should really consider joining the Catholic Church, because, believe me, very few Catholics actually believe in God. I know I was raised as one. So, yeah... I think the real, if you ever want to see who's really mucking up religions of any kind or belief systems of any kind for anyone, as I said to an old friend of mine, uh, who is ironically here on YouTube, uh, uh, over a very long, we just, we just sat down in the city and just talked for the better part of a couple of hours. We walked around the city talking and what really buggers I said to him, what really buggers it is when some guy treats religion like the law uh, is treated by lawyers. And even lawyers shouldn't treat the law the way they do. And yes, it goes to Barris's Queen's Council, councils and solicitors here in Australia. Happy. So, and that's not to you, Silver, that's to anyone who cares to challenge my nationality and anything else. So, it's the people who say, line 6, verse 3, says specifically you can't do this, when the spirit of the teaching or the law or the rule is entirely antithetical to what they're trying to push. When you treat religion like a law book, it breaks down. When you use it as a power grab and you quote scripture to suit your own needs and then forget the rest until it, except for you know, uh, major celebrations where you have to show lip service to the better ideals, it breaks down. It's the same with any national code, with any religion, with anything that people will follow and respect, someone comes along to try and misuse it as a power grab. And that's pretty much where most of the atheists came in uh, on YouTube. They got sick and tired of people abusing 
this uh, disable switch, for want of a better term, that lives inside your average religious individual's head. So that by the time they have... By the time they have... Uh, figured out that they're being used, they, they'll have lost so much uh, energy that they won't see why they were being used or whether there was still something good in their religion. They'll just say, oh, who cares? They're all like this. I just want to nick off and do my own thing and get left alone. Seeing no value in any form of religion. And it's a sad thing. However, that's where the... Uh, that's where I've seen the atheist community of YouTube go. They've got a very much a live and let live attitude. Look at Ricky Gervais. He's a famous atheist out of England. An actor and generally funny bloke. And, uh... He says... Uh... And, and he said, people shouldn't be afraid of what others don't believe. Okay, it's an absence. Maybe nature really does hate a vacuum, however... These people don't have to worry about what some people call the God-shaped hole and... That works for them. That works for me. So anyway. I'm just letting everybody know that, and you especially, that most of the atheists out there just either want to have a good talk about whether God is properly understood or they want to uh, look at the at why religion got so bad as opposed to spirituality or anything else. Or maybe they just want resolution or closure with the guy that turned them away from the faith that they otherwise liked. There's a whole mix of stuff there. However, it's the anti-theists and the whole countries that take this power-grabbing, litigious, and ultimately destruct destructive and, by extension, self-destructive mentality that really bother me. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Thank you so very much for your time. I'm Ozzy Griffin, and once again, for the second time, make sure I've said it properly, I didn't mean to offend you before.